Watch out for the spikes, Kristen. Ah. Kristen, I forgot which character you were playing. Benjamin. Right now. The the wizard. Okay. <laughs> I was about to say, who's Benjamin? <laughs> There's no Benjamin here. My name is it's John and Jason. <laughs> <laughs> we have fighter, wizard, and Benjamin. <laughs> my, my favorite class. Yeah. The mightiest of all warriors of the ancient <laughs> times. Hello, my friends. Welcome back to PlayStation Underground. On today's show, we are playing Dragon's Crown Pro, which is coming to PS4 and PS4 Pro on May 15th. We are playing on the PS4 Pro, and what better way to play than to have Jason Osborne and John Stiebel join us from Atlas. Gentlemen, welcome to the program. Hey, Hello. Thanks for having us. Thanks for having us. Uh, Kristen from my team is also here as a Dragon's Crown New coming adventure. Yes. Hello, hello. Uh, so I am playing the uh, the world's best character, the fighter. Uh, <laughs> don't quote me on that. And we have uh, the uh, elf, the archer, the sorceress, and the wizard as well. Just reading a book. Yep. Just you're, just re you're just casually Cash. catching up on uh, your favorite uh, <laughs> fiction or nonfiction. I was about to say, what book are you reading? And then I thought, you know what? Don't actually say the title. Of <laughs> <laughs> Make up a title. Um, anyway, uh, John or uh, or Jason, I guess, who, who wants to walk us through what we're going to be seeing today? Sure. Uh, I can bring it up. So oh, we can not do it down. <laughs> Dragon's Crown Pro is a remaster of Dragon's Crown, which came out for the PS3 um, <laughs> and Vita. So it's a four-player, uh, up to four-player, <laughs> up to four-player co-op, uh, dungeon-crawling beat 'em up. So this harkens back to the days of arcade games, uh, classic playing with four players in an arcade. Uh, you can play either local co-op or online, and it's a pretty simple story. Basically, the king wants the dragon's crown, so you are off to go find it. Hmm. Uh, there's six playable characters. There's the fighter, Many the wizard, or the, the, the old wizard. The wizard, yes, the wizard, the sorceress, <laughs> uh, the elf, uh, the dwarf, and the Amazon. And they all play very differently, so you'll see uh, a lot of chaos throughout this adventure. I think that we have to first start, as I often do when talking about Vanillaware games, with how gorgeous it is and the amount of detail and the layered effects in the backgrounds. There's, it's visual splendor. Oh, uh, absolutely. But the great thing about Dragon's Crown that one of the things that I love about it is it's highly replayable, too. It's really just designed for you to get in there and have fun and go to town uh, over and over and over and over and over again until your treasure rank explodes. <laughs> yeah, there's a there's a leveling system. So you start out with a, most of your basic abilities, but as you level up, you can earn skill points to unlock new passive skills, active skills, spells, uh, and really customize your character the way that you want to play. You have made your way to Roland. <laughs> look, look, everyone, it's Roland. It's Roland, <laughs> everyone's favorite. <laughs> look at his belt. Look at his beautiful <laughs> face. Hold on a second. I want to point to the best part of Roland. <laughs> yeah. This, this green, <laughs> this green right there. <laughs> That's one of the most important features of the game is you have these curses that well, <laughs> <laughs> abs, yes. Rippling, Roland's abs, rippling yeah. eight-pack abs. It's yes. all over the back of the box. <laughs> uh, uh, you have ahead. these curses that you can use to interact with the environment. You can tell your rogue friend to open up treasure chests for you or to open doors for you. Oh no! Uh, and there's a lot of secrets in the game to uncover by doing this. So you can see this is actually a hidden area that we've entered. We have huh. a few treasure chests here. It does have a really beautiful um, art style, too, like the painting style. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. This is classic Vanillaware style, um, and Dragon's Crown Pro being a remaster of the original plays in 4K on mm -hmm. PS4 Pro, and just the visual fidelity of everything has been improved from the original. Go, Ranny, go! <laughs> yes, just note that our, the little rogue we're not actually controlling, but he does great work. Oh, he does uh, a lot of great yeah, work. He also leveled up before we did. <laughs> <laughs> He's True. doing the best work. <laughs> uh, yeah, arguably doing better work than we are. Oh, so for example, if you touch those runes in the back, I remember that doing something, right? We don't have runes yet. Oh, to that's use right. Them. <laughs> that's uh, that's I'm just previewing it for later on. <laughs> yeah, yeah. They give you a lot of extra bonuses, so we'll have a uh, spells that will defeat all undead enemies, or ones that'll increase your life, or uh, create food. There's a bunch of different ones. Oh yeah, food is a big part of the game. You can see that uh, <laughs> if you have some food underneath your character portrait, like our elf has, if you stand still, you can just start chowing down. There and she goes. She's eating a chicken. <laughs> yum. <laughs> yum. <laughs> Delicious. Just casual. Excuse and, me, guys. Hold and up. Because it's because your health bar was full, so you're actually kind of overcharging your health bar, correct? Mm -hmm. Yep. Yeah. 
Yeah, you can have a uh, 150% health at any point. Watch out for the spikes, Kristen. Ah. Kristen, I forgot which character you were playing. Benjamin. Right now. The the wizard. Okay. <laughs> I was about to say, who's Benjamin? <laughs> There's no Benjamin here. My name is it's John and Jason. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we have fighter, wizard, and Benjamin. <laughs> <laughs> my, my favorite class. Yeah. The mightiest of all warriors of the ancient <laughs> times. Bow before Benjamin. <laughs> That's Conqueror of kings. <laughs> laying waste to entire <laughs> kingdoms. <laughs> Hi, I'm Benjamin. <laughs> Oh, so we have another feature right here. We have these skeletons that you'll find throughout uh, the instances, and you can pick them up to actually revive them into fellow adventurers, huh. or what? Uh, you can bury them and get items for your good deed. Mm. So what I should we do? Um, well, Kristen. We ah, <laughs> I say we bury them. I want to see what we get if we bury them. Okay. We'll have to take it back to town, and then we'll have to oh, bury it. In Actually, I don't think we can bury those ones. Really? I think well, those are story bones. Those well, are very oh, important. Oh, so, yeah. far, so far, Jason has been spoiling the fun <laughs> with everything that I say. I'm sorry. <laughs> You're the realist of the party. Kristen, um, what kind of real, like, if you were in an RPG party, what, what like, character class would you be in real life? Um, I normally go for the rogue-like character. Um, anyone who's a little little sneaky, usually if they have dual blades, that's my go-to. But uh, No, but I'm saying in real life, what would you be? <laughs> oh, I see. What would Kristen be? I would be, like, the person that hangs back at the tavern. <laughs> it's like, if you guys need help, <laughs> let me know. I'll be here. Um, I heard some rumors <laughs> are <laughs> unconfirmed. <laughs> All right, I remember. I remember that um, when I played the original Dragon's Crown for copious amounts of time, I would do this spinny move with the fighter way too much. Just get up in the air, spin that sword around, do good work. It's a good move from the skies. <laughs> do good work. I think early on in the game, everyone finds their one ability they just want to spam over and over yep. again. Yeah. And that was mine it's for dozens and dozens of <laughs> hours. I'm really good at mashing this button, I swear. <laughs> I'm super good at hitting square, you guys. <laughs> <laughs> it's an important skill for this game. If you're not good at hitting square, you may have difficulty with this game. Now, each of the dungeons, if I'm not mistaken, not only has branching paths, but often uh, uh, different boss fights as well. Oh, right. So, no, you're spoiling things. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, uh, but no, that's yeah, that's true. Um, each of the nine levels oh, in the game. I lost my sword. I lost my sword. <laughs> Come get it. Ah. I got it. Thanks. <laughs> each ah. of the nine main levels in the game has uh, two branching pathways, and one will be significantly tougher than the other. So that's kind of like your your new game plus mm -hmm. for that. Reason. And I will say that for end game play, one of the ooh, we did it. I'll let I'll let our nice narrator have his moment. Never mind, I took it. <laughs> to avoid drawing the attention of any other harpies. 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 So, everyone, <laughs> let's talk more about Dragon's Crown. Uh, I remember that what I would do is if you start a continuous run through dungeons, you can we can progress, by the way. Uh, when you start advancing through dungeons, you can kind of build a chain and get your treasure rank up to ridiculous heights. Right? Oh, yeah, for sure. Um, that was my favorite thing to do. I love that. Yes. Like, getting those like 200, 250% bonuses. It, yeah, it's, it's so great. It's really nice. Yeah, Benjamin. <laughs> oh, leveled Benjamin. up. What's up, Benjamin? Benjamin? Level two. <laughs> what is up? No, no, he doubled his power. Is what he did. Look at, look at, my, look at my beautiful blue eyes <laughs> behind <laughs> that helmet. Would you ever have guessed? <laughs> would you ever have guessed that such a handsome fellow lies behind this devastating <laughs> armor? I mean, with a name like Amos. This you know, have to <laughs> So this is a big part of the game, is uh, after every successful dungeon run, you'll have your spoils, which you collect from the treasure chest. You would see that Randy would open a chest, and it would tell us what item level it was. Um, so the higher the item level from, uh, what is it, E to S? Yeah, to S. Yeah, E to S will dictate how powerful the item is. Hmm. So you'll see uh, we have a bow here, which will be great for the elf. Um, and you have to spend some money to appraise it, so we can do that now. If you don't appraise it, you can't use it, but you can hold on to it and then uh, appraise it later if you don't have the money at the time. Who's playing Elf? I forgot. I am. Jason? Yeah. So, Jason, if you feel the need to be empowered, you can use that bow. Wow, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> feel so honored. Yes, of course. It's my pleasure. I had no part in it. <laughs> 
So Jason has a new weapon. It's really cool. Some of the characters will actually get entirely new features with their weapons. Mm -hmm. So the sorceress, for example, has three different elements of staff. So she has ice, lightning, and fire. And each one is better at doing uh, a different kind of thing. Lightning is really fast and has great range. Fire has high damage, but it's useless in water. And then ice is uh, short range, but it does a lot of good sustained damage. Can you remind me if you can actually have different weapon sets while you're yeah, in Yeah, you can dungeon, actually right? get nine different bags, and oh, each geez. of those bags has its own unique uh, equipment set. So if you want to just have a specific, uh, specific elemental focus, I want to be you know completely ice, and I want to null fire damage. You can set a specific equipment bag for that. That's fantastic. It is possible to resurrect the dead with their bones. He tells you to go to the temple, to a Canaan temple. Is we have plenty of time for another dungeon. <laughs> nice. Yeah, that was just the tip of the iceberg. We have a lot to get through. Mm -hmm. you were mm -hmm. So to true. To I'm also, everyone, I'm the worst dasher. Like, I am, I am so bad at dashing in this game. <laughs> we can help you out. We can uh, give you a nudge. Okay. As you Good. Enter, a <laughs> ah, the temple. Mm -hmm. from the back. I'm going to go out on a limb, Kristen, and mm -hmm. say that that is a heavy <laughs> necklace. What do you think? <laughs> like a full wooden box? I mean, like I feel custom like made. only someone with these broad shoulders would, would, be, able able to, <laughs> would be able to carry There's like around. another monk <laughs> below the screen that can't stand up. <laughs> <laughs> He's just on his shoulders. Yes. <laughs> He's just See, crawling. <laughs> you all have a whole different perspective. Whenever I play with my friends, we are sure this guy is evil. I mean, just really? look at his face. Yeah. And look at what he's doing right here. <laughs> I, he's restoring life to this... Uh, you don't trust these little babies? <laughs> look at how cute they are. That one's blowing a trumpet. I don't trust trumpet. these babies. <laughs> <laughs> no, you don't trust these babies. <laughs> <laughs> well, I've just never seen such trustworthy babies in my life. <laughs> well, anyway, what else happens in Dragon's Crown? <laughs> So we just revived this adventure, so that means that if you're playing with less than four players at once, you can actually recruit them to your party, and they'll help you out as Is that what we did with those bones that we found? Yep, those are the bones. Interesting. Yeah, Full so we're forced to... Oh, I saw that doggo. Y'all see that cute puppers that on the ground? <laughs> Look at that sweet pup. Can we bring the pups into the, the combat? I'm more focused on this fruit over here. Yeah, me too. Nope, and the still wine. on the pup. Yeah. Look at also, this guy in the background, I literally Bard. have never noticed him until just now. What evil songs and plots <laughs> is, he, is he concocting back there? Uh, he's probably recording the orchestral soundtrack for Dragon's Crown. Oh, Crown. man, look at that segue! What, <laughs> what is up, John? Holy smokes! Tell me about that reorchestrated soundtrack as we go into another dungeon, please. Oh, yeah, okay. absolutely. So uh, <laughs> Dragon's Crown has a fantastic soundtrack, even more than the visuals. Uh, it, it's just the the sound is meant to make you feel like you are truly on a magical adventure. Mm. Uh, so for Dragon's Crown Pro, they re-recorded the entire soundtrack Oops. using a live orchestra. Should we go back to the gate? Sorry, yeah, we're supposed going? to go to the Guildmaster. Okay. Yeah. Can I, I forgot if I can change my movement to D-pad or not. No. No, okay. D-pad is used for rotating through items. Ah, that's right. Okay. But you can set a lot of shortcuts for that. Okay. You think you see part of a smile across Samuel's face. You think you do. You it's a smile. You are now registered with the guild. You may now get cooperation from guild members. They may participate. So he's explaining right here that you can you recruit these adventurers as NPCs. Mm -hmm. The Adventurer's Guild has a backlog of quests. Wait, I got distracted. Uh, did we ever finish explaining the soundtrack? The soundtrack? Um, I mean, that that's pretty, every single track in the game was reorchestrated uh, with a live orchestra, and it's absolutely beautiful. Mm -hmm. So uh, And you can listen to samples on PlayStation.blog because we posted a post. Uh, posted a post. <laughs> no better way to have said that. <laughs> yep, that went up uh, on recording day. Mm -hmm. So uh, there's a few uh, track samples there that you can use to compare the original soundtrack and the orchestral one. Nice. And if you happen to enjoy the original one uh, more, then then you can switch back to it in the uh, game options. Oh, that's cool. So we'll give you options. We actually um, this narrator is getting a little bit droning. So let's let's skip through this, and then we can actually change the narrator voice. <gasps> what? <laughs> Sorry, I have to take a quest. Kristen wow, and I didn't uh, plan <laughs> that at all. <laughs> <laughs> I guess you had these side quests too that uh, are great. They're just little tasks for you to go back in a dungeon. This mm -hmm. one wants us to go back in that secret room with the orcs. Um, wait, wait. Can I can I say the name? Yeah. Help the honey buzzards! <laughs> <laughs> um, if only yeah. there were an option to have the audio of you just reading Me all the questions. Could I be the, I'll be the narrator. That's no problem. <gasps> you you guys, I'll go to the if you guys just want to book me for some VO sessions, so just let me know. Let's see if we can find a... Uh, you must go to the castle. Do you want to do the options? Someone else? Okay, yeah. 
Let's see if else. we can find a, a Ryan narrator here. Uh, I don't see any. I, I strongly suspect that there will not be one. There may or may not be one. Uh, the great thing also about Dragon's Crown Pro is you have access to all of the narrator voices, oh, including nice. the Japanese voices. Uh, and even when you're creating a character, you can choose between English or Japanese voices for that character. Oh, wow. Fantastic. Mm -hmm. So let's, yeah, let's get the elf. She's got a nice voice. So does that mean that the actors, like, essentially recorded the entire narration of the game? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Wow. Every single line. Heck yeah. I'm partial to the dwarf. Just, okay. But, uh, Ooh, I like her braids. You are led through the secure castle. That guy doesn't look fun. Princess He's trustworthy. I remember thinking that this guy <laughs> was up to no good, if I'm remembering the story right. Mm. How could you not trust that face? That's not that's a that's a face only a mother could trust. Described him as Tomit. Tomit. Your job is to track down Tomit. So when you're first introduced to each of the dungeons in the game, uh, there's usually a story that goes along with it. And then it's cool because it kind of replays that story in a different way when you do the B roots. You chase the thief into the ruins of the old Ow. <laughs> did we just knock over that poor dad? Yes, we did. Yeah, we did. I mean, the kid's fine. He was probably evil. Just a man and his apples. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> this is just a simple story of a man and his apples. And his son and his wine. Yep. This is maybe one of my favorite yeah, like uh, stage select scenes in gaming. I was gonna say it's a it's a great mechanic. Yeah, it's really nice to see the whole lay of the land. Yeah. So let's head in the second one, the, the old capital. Old capital. Nice. Can I hear your best narrator voice, John? Uh, you want me to do elf or? You know what? I've, I do changed my mind. <laughs> <laughs> I changed my mind. I'm only setting you up for failure. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not sure I could do sorcery. It does you. change the vibe <laughs> a lot, though, when you mm -hmm. switch out the narrator. Right? Mm -hmm. But the vibe is always going to be beaten stuff. All <laughs> <up by laughs> right. <laughs> if you're the fighter, you only know two things: beaten stuff up, and, and that's it. <laughs> beaten stuff down. <laughs> oh, nice! I should have said that. <laughs> what? Huh? Oh. Huh? Okay. Oh, 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 Randy, oh wait! Catch I want to get that. Oh, okay. You got it. You got the treasure. Shablam! <laughs> Shablam! I like that also the uh, fighter can do some nice aerial combat as well. Mm -hmm. I don't know if uh, John or Jason, you guys want to go into kind of the mechanics of each of the different characters just a little bit? Yeah, we can introduce our own characters. So, Jason, you want to start? Oh, yeah, yeah. Them? So, I have an elf. Uh, she's very versatile, uh, close range and long range. Obviously, she has her bow and she has her feet. Um, she also has a really cool build where she can uh, equip daggers and do some backstabbing. Ooh. Cool. Yeah, she's real good. Um, she's really sweet as you unlock more of her skills. She gets really good air juggles. Um, you can actually stun lock people with her bows. Um, she has elemental skills. So really, uh, jack of all trades, uh, very versatile. Okay. That's and she has a, her arrows too, which are pretty interesting, and that you only have 10 of them to start with. And if you shoot them, they're just gone, so you have to pick up arrows as you go through the level. Ah. But uh, they're pretty powerful in, uh, in exchange. So, Kristen, if you could give an exhausting detail of your character, <laughs> which you're only playing for the first time, So this be great. is Benjamin. <laughs> <laughs> hey, guys! Um, what's up? <laughs> I've noticed he has this cool fire attack uh, that isn't showing because there's no enemy right oh. now. <laughs> uh, you actually need to charge your MP, so oh. if you hold down your square button, he'll start charging. Uh, what really cool <laughs> <laughs> so that is how you replenish your MP. Um, I've learned so much. <laughs> if, uh, yeah, there it is. One really sweet thing with the wizard that's that separates him from the sorceress is he can actually overcharge his magic. So see how you have like that blue aura around yeah. you now? That means next time you do a spell, that one will just be like amplified, so you do more damage. Nice. Yeah, he's the offensive magic one. The sorceress is a little bit more supportive. Support Got it. Yeah. So uh, she can summon things as well, right? She can. Uh, she can bring those bones back to life. That's actually. That's right. Yeah. So instead of picking them up to bury them or revive them, you can just turn them into skeletons to uh, fight for your amusement. That doesn't uh, sound like you're bending the laws of nature at all. That's fine. Yeah, that's fine. I mean, it's better than what that monk was doing. <laughs> well, it says you. <laughs> Um, so she has a bunch of different spells uh, to help out with dealing damage, but then when she really uh, comes into her own is when you purchase additional skills for her uh, by leveling up. So oh, the fish! Hold on, I forgot about this. Oh my god, these fish would drive me nuts in the original version. Wait, Sorry to cut you they off. Have to they jump. leap up, and you have that. to get them. Yeah. You have to get those fish. 
they always bit me in the face. <laughs> but the it was, it's <laughs> really... The animation of them coming apart. It's really satisfying to cut them in two. That's great. Sorry, I um, totally cut you oh, guys off. Oh, no, no, off. no problem. Uh, I was going to say, the sorceress uh, can purchase a, a ton of different spells that she can use to support her team. So she can make food out of thin air. Um, she can create ice walls to block enemies off. She can just drop a big rock on people. Uh, oh, man. As so. you do. <laughs> As you do. <laughs> and then the fighter, le every, ladies and gentlemen, let me tell you about this fighter. <laughs> this fighter can smash and bash. He can tie enemies in knots. Uh, I, I, I honestly, I don't really know how to describe him other than that he seems like a very just melee first hand-to-hand uh, -hand warrior. Mm -hmm. yeah, you can actually uh, throw your sword, which changes his moveset just a little bit. Oh, that's right, although I forgot how to throw the sword. I believe you hold circle. Oh, you oh, slam yeah, it down. You don't yeah. actually throw it. Oh, Spike. I just learned how to dash. <laughs> <laughs> nice. <Woo! laughs> We're learning. I think, I think I was the newcomer all along, and that's what we've learned. <laughs> uh, then we also have Amazon, who's not here. Uh, she's actually really sweet that she has a uh, berserk mode. So the oh, more right. HP she loses, the stronger she gets, oh, wow. and the faster she becomes. So she's like really double edge, heavy hitter, but glass cannon. Mm -hmm. And then the dwarf, I believe, has some grappling moves as well, yeah. right? Yeah. One of the games I used to play with my friends on the first run of uh, Dragon's Crown was we'd have uh, multiple dwarves, and we would just take an enemy and throw it at each other <laughs> and try and <laughs> catch them. Oh, the wyvern. I did, the wyverns. Some, I know. I'm, I'm, I just like saying that. <laughs> <laughs> there's some cool environmental stuff like this rock back here. Uh, the dwarf is the one who can pick that up and chuck that at enemies. I lost my sword. Got it. That's the fighter's new voice. Yep. I lost my sword. I lost my sword. <laughs> That's an Amos. That's <laughs> <laughs> We're making short work of this wyvern. Yeah, a lot of the uh, early game is is pretty forgiving, but... Um, well, yeah, of course. Yeah. you got to get used to it. Yeah. But then, oh, smokes, once you start running those long chains of... Oh, dungeons, another! Double wyvern! <laughs> I should stop calling a wyvern, or else I'll actually start saying that. In the I don't really upset. say. You know, I, I don't say, really how often say does wyvern, wyvern and pop wyvern up? in real life. In your day to day, you just don't talk about wyverns. I can't reach my sword on the other side of the screen. Can folks oh, here, yeah. come over this way? Thank you. See, that's I now co -op. have my sword. That's that's <laughs> real co-op, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> I'm also almost dead. I should eat my apple. I haven't really been paying attention. It's all right. You oh, have multiple lives. You have health potions too. So if you use your D-pad, you can switch over to it, and then. Uh, Oops, I'm getting destroyed while explaining. Oh, no. can, <laughs> can I revive you? Uh, I'll just revive automatically. You can see above oh your no. character portrait, you'll have uh, two lives to start out a dungeon with. And right. it's explaining it right now. So we can When your HP drops to zero. Is that the actual Mary? Yeah, that was me. That's amazing. Yeah. Thanks. <laughs> <laughs> and even once you lose all your lives, you can still use a little bit of gold to, uh, to come back. Oh but, god, uh, triple wyvern. Just like in real life. Just like in real life. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Benjamin. <laughs> <laughs> Benjamin so just doesn't crazy. get how the real world works. <laughs> that, would be, that would actually be a hilarious character quirk if, like, the wizard, the one that's supposed to have all this arcane knowledge, is the most <laughs> inept of all the adventurers. <laughs> he just Yay. has no idea how things actually work. <laughs> Good job, team. There Hooray! We go. Nailed it. Ladies and gentlemen, that was a look at Dragon's Crown Pro, which is coming to PS4 and PS4 Pro on May 15th. And, John, I believe you said that there was a little bit of a pre-order incentive going on, right? Yep. On the PlayStation Store, if you're a PlayStation Plus member, you will receive a 10% discount uh, during Ooh. the pre-order period, so up Ooh. until May 15th. So, ladies and gentlemen, if you want to uh, delve into some dungeons and play what I think is one of the best uh, co-op brawlers around with a fantasy setting, then look no further. Dragon's Crown Pro coming out May 15th. Uh, John and Jason, Kristen, thank you all for joining me. And until next time, this has been PlayStation Underground. We'll see you soon. PlayStation.